defense lawyers in the Bunkerville standoff case were stunned last month to receive recorded phone calls between co-defendant Blaine Cooper and his Oregon defense lawyer from federal prosecutors who had previously denied possessing any attorney-client privileged jailhouse calls. Prosecutors shared 12 recorded jail phone calls between Cooper and Portland lawyer Krista Shipsey with defense lawyers for co-defendants Cleven Bundy, his two sons and Ryan Payne, who are now on trial in federal court in Las Vegas. Cooper has pleaded guilty to federal conspiracy charges in both the 2014 standoff with federal agents near Bunkerville, Nevada and in the 2016 Oregon armed takeover of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. He is cooperating with the government and was a government witness in this year's Oregon trial. The recordings captured calls Cooper made to his lawyer while in custody at the Las Vegas City Jail between January 22 and February.17, 2017 The conversations related to the Bunkerville case, including discussions about preparation, the criminal allegations, and strategy, according to court documents. I didn't know nor did Blaine, Shipsey said in a recent interview. It's extremely concerning. We were assured those conversations would be confidential. Assistant Federal Public Defenders Brenda Weeksolder and Ryan Norwood, who represent Payne in Nevada, have called for the dismissal of the case, alleging the prosecution has acted with flagrant misconduct, based on the government's misrepresentations regarding the most sacrosanct of client communications. Shipsey also last week asked to review copies of the recorded calls with her client that were shared. It is negligence at its best and deliberate indifference to a defendant's substantive rights at its worst, Weeks Older and Norwood wrote in motions to the court. Payne's lawyers cited the sharing of Cooper's privileged calls to his attorney with co-defendants as just one in a series of discovery blunders by prosecutors in the Bunkerville case. In the days leading up to trial, and even once trial started, prosecutors have been ordered to turn over emails and other evidence, regarding the FBI's use of a camera outside the Bundy Ranch, FBI surveillance of the residents and threat assessments made before the 2014 standoff, that they previously did not share or said didn't exist. Prosecutors this week countered that even were the defense to show the government violated an attorney-client privilege by sharing Cooper's calls, Payne's lawyers have failed to show that Payne or any other defendant on trial has been prejudiced in any way by the sharing of the calls or that their ability to defend themselves has been impaired. A so-called taint team of FBI agents, set up to act separately and apart from the FBI agents on the prosecution team, reviewed all recorded jail calls and identified relevant non-privileged calls. They then provided to the prosecution team a summary of the content of those calls, according to Assistant U.S. Attorney Nadia Ahmed. The Taint team further identified privileged calls between defendants and their lawyers. Once they determined a call was between a defendant and their lawyer, the agents on the team did no further review, did not listen to the call and therefore did not summarize the contents, Ahmed wrote in a response.